1987 Philippine Constitution College and Civil Service Exam Reviewer Article 9b The Civil Service Commission What are the three constitutional commissions? The Civil Service Commission or CSC the Commission on Elections or COMELEC and the Commission on Audit or COA. Common Provisions on the Constitutional Commissions They shall be independent. They shall enjoy fiscal autonomy in that there is automatic and regular release of approved annual appropriations the salary of their chairman and commissioners shall be fixed by law and shall not be decreased during their tenure. They shall appoint their officials and employees in accordance with law. What is the CSC? It is the central personal agency of the government. It embraces all branches, subdivisions, instrumentalities, and agencies of the government, including government-owned and controlled corporations with original charter. What are the basic principles in the administration of the civil service? Appointments shall be made only according to merit and fitness to be determined by competitive examinations. Exceptions Positions which are policy-determining, primarily confidential, or highly technical. There shall be no removal or suspension from the service except for costs provided by law. There shall be no direct or indirect electioneering or partisan political campaigns. The existence of the right to self-organization. Protection is granted to temporary employees as provided by law. All public officers and employees must take an oath or affirmation to defend the Philippine Constitution. There shall be a standard compensation as provided by Congress, which takes into account the nature of the responsibilities and qualifications required for the positions. Prohibitions imposed upon candidates and elective and appointive officials. No candidate who lost in any election within one year after such election shall be appointed to any office in the government or in GOCCs. No elective official during his tenure shall be appointed or designated to any public office or position. No appointive official shall hold any other office or employment in the government or in GOCCs unless otherwise allowed by law or by the primary functions of his position. No elective or appointed public officer or employee shall accept any present, emolument, office, or title of any kind from any foreign government, except with the consent of Congress. No elective or appointed public officer or employee shall receive additional, double, or indirect compensation, except when specifically authorized by law, and except that pensions and gratuities shall not be considered as additional, double, or indirect compensation. Basic Mandates of the CSC 
to establish a career service, to adapt measures to promote morale, efficiency, integrity, responsiveness, progressiveness, and courtesy in the civil service, to strengthen the merit and reward system, to integrate all human resources development programs for all levels and ranks, to institutionalize a management climate conducive to public accountability, to submit to the President and Congress an annual report on its personal programs, composition of the CSC. It shall be composed of a chairman and two commissioners. Qualifications of the CSC Chairman and Commissioners He or she must be a natural-born Philippine citizen, at least 35 years of age, with proven capacity for public administration, and must not have been a candidate for any elective position in the elections immediately preceding his appointment. Appointment of the CSC Chairman and Commissioners Who appoints? The President, with the consent of the Commission on Appointments. Term of Office, 7 years, without reappointment. Filling of vacancy, only for the unexpired portion of the term of his predecessor. No temporary appointment or appointment in acting capacity is allowed. Common prohibitions imposed on the officials of constitutional commissions. He or she cannot hold any other office or employment during his tenure. He or she cannot engage in the practice of any profession. He or she cannot engage in the active management or control of any business which in any way may be affected by the functions of his office. He or she cannot be financially interested, directly or indirectly, in any contract, franchise, or privilege granted by the government, including the GOCCs. Common provisions on the conduct of proceedings before the Constitutional Commissions. Each commission unbound may promulgate its own rules concerning pleadings and practice before it, provided that such rules shall not diminish, increase, or modify substantive rights. Each commission shall decide by a majority vote of all its members any case or matter brought before it within 60 days from the date of its submission or resolution. Remedy on any decision, order, or ruling by a commission is to appeal to the Supreme Court by certiorari within 30 days unless otherwise provided by the Constitution or by law. Each commission shall perform such other functions as may be provided by law. Please like and subscribe for more videos.